In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can save your projects in DaVinci Resolve so that you can edit them in other computers. The first thing you have to do is export your project. You can do that by going to the File tab, then you select Export Project, or you can just type Ctrl or Command E. And now it's time to save your project. You can create a new folder or you can select a folder you've already created where you can save all of your DaVinci Resolve projects. In my case, I'm going to save it here. If you want to save your projects in Google Drive, first you will have to save your project in your computer or in an external hard drive or an USB, and then you can drag it to Google Drive. If you want to continue editing your project in another computer, the first thing you have to take into consideration is that you have to have DaVinci Resolve downloaded into that computer too. If not, you will have to download the software, install it, and then you will be able to edit your project. If you want to edit your DaVinci Resolve projects that you saved in your Google Drive, select that file, you're going to download it, and then you open your project in DaVinci Resolve. You will have all of your files, however, you will have to relink your clips in most cases. If, like me, you save your projects in your external hard drive, everything you have to do is select that project. In my case, it's Snow in Strasbourg. Now you can continue editing your project. If for some reason when you open your project, it looks like this, it means that you have to relink your media. I'm going to show you how you can do that. So you select all of the clips that are red. Right click, go to relink selected clips. You're going to select the folder where you have all of your clips saved for the project that you're currently editing. In my case, it's this one. I'm going to click on open. And now you will see that all of my clips are relinked. Now you can edit your project without any problems. If you want to watch more DaVinci Resolve and YouTube tutorials, subscribe to my YouTube channel. And if you want to receive notifications every single time that I upload a new video, activate the notification bell. Thanks a lot for watching and see you on my next video.